here's a story from a distant star about a planet called Zaponia, where the people cried and shook with fear, because the land was gone, the end was near. On an urgent mission to put it right, brave young Gigi, day and night, searched through space, till in view, came a spinning world of green and blue. Welcome to Ziku's Earth Adventure. And this is where it all begins in a world of science and earthling friends. In today's update, news from the Milky Lakes of Banka is that the Starburst Challenge is underway. Early race leader is Ultravox Bob. And on Earth, heavy flooding is predicted in some parts. Greetings across the galaxies. Zaldi, Zillion. Good morning, young people. And now we interrupt this report for a special transmission from Zarponia. Prime Councillor Zed Zando calling Port Controller Ziku. Zaldi, Zando. Ziku, what is this I hear on the news about? <laughs> What on earth is that? Drop the thing and step away. Zikes! <laughs> Sorry, Zandal. Sorry, Zillion. It's an umbrella. Gave me a fright, too. Umbrella? What is umbrella? It's a umbrella, sir. Mbali gave it to me. She said, in case it rains. In case it rains? Does this have anything to do with the talk of the flooding in the news, Zillion? Flooding can be caused by heavy rain. It's all about the weather. I'm sure of it. Weather? Weather what, sir? Well, on your last mission, you told us all about the Earth's atmosphere. That's right. I remember. Now show Ziku what we know so far, Zillion. We know that the atmosphere is a layer of air that can be found right around the Earth. We also know that this layer of air is very important for life on Earth. But the conditions of the atmosphere change from place to place and from time to time. Ah, so the condition of the atmosphere at any time is called the weather? Hmm. I don't think I quite understand what the weather is. Ah, excellent! Excellent! That will be your mission for today, Ziku. Find out about the elements of the weather and Find out the kinds of weather that are found in that strange land you are in. I will, Zandal. Wonder if I'll need my umbrella. Umbrella? Umbrella? Ah, umbrella! I don't know. But good luck, Ziku. Maybe you will learn something that will save Zaponia. For Zaponia. Here are people on a hot day. And people on a cold day. Hot and cold is a way to talk about the temperature. Temperature is one of the elements of the weather. Look at that, Zillion. The Earthlings wear different clothes in different temperatures. I wonder what the weather is like today and what the temperature is. Time to activate Zoom so she can find out. I'm not talking to Zoom. Why not? We're on an important mission. We had a dispute. She keeps getting her camera dirty and then answering back when I tell her to auto-clean it. But we have to work together for the good of Zarponia. Oh, very well. I'll activate her, but only for Zarponia. <coughs> How rude. Zoom, I need your help. Tell her I'm not talking to her. Zoom, if weather is the condition of the atmosphere at any one given time, can you tell me what the weather is like today? Zippity zoop zoop. She says it's cold and windy and might rain. Okay, cold is temperature, but windy and rain? I wonder what all that means. What does all that mean, Zoom? Oops, <laughs> now he's not talking to you either. See if I care. Time for me to find out about the weather for myself. Maybe Mbali can help. Mustn't forget my umbrella. It's hey, Tada. Hola, Ziku. Zola, Mbali. What are you doing? An old Zarponian blessing. May a star never fall on you. I don't know about stars, but what I do know is that there'll definitely be rain falling. Papa said so. I brought the umbrella. See? In case it rains. 
And by the looks of things, we'll definitely be needing that today. How do we know when we'll most definitely need the umbrella? Well, you can see it by the signs in the sky or by temperature. Like today, it is definitely going to rain because the sky is getting dark and my skin is getting cold. Wait a second. Go back to that temperature word. What does that mean? Well, this is what we learned at school. Temperature is an element of the weather. Like, sometimes it is cold, just like today. This is cold? Yeah. How do you feel now? I feel right. Now I understand. Sometimes when I visit your planet, I feel like I'm wearing the wrong clothes and I don't feel right. Sometimes it is hot, then we wear less clothing. Then sometimes it is really cold, like today. Then we wear more clothing, zaytada, or even when there's a cold wind on a hot day. Wind? Wind is also an element of the weather. What is wind? Sometimes the air is still. Sometimes the air is moving. That is what wind is, moving air. So wind is moving air? Mm-hmm. Try blowing on your hand like this. See, the air in the atmosphere is moving. It's almost like it's tickling you. I felt it. Wind. Take a look at my project. I got an A plus for it. Wow, and three stars. Mm-hmm. Let me activate my Ziki cam. Wind can blow from different directions. Wind direction is where the wind is coming from. Wind speed is how hard it's blowing. It can sometimes be a gentle wind or a strong wind like today. <laughs> so it's strong today? Hold up your umbrella and see. Sight! So that's what a strong wind is. Wind and temperature are both elements of the weather. And so is rain. Rain is too? Of course. Rain, snow, hail, they're all elements of the weather. Serious? Serious. They are called precipitation because they're wet. Precipitation is wet weather. What is wet? It's water, Ziku. Water. Rain is water that falls from the sky. So that's rain. Yes. Rain is another element of weather, like temperature and wind. Yes, and when it's very cold, it can snow. Stop that, unless you want me to use my umbrella, <laughs> you. <laughs> Some places the weather is cold and rainy, but there's no wind. Some places are windy and hot, and even then it can rain. Some are so cold, it's snowing. You know what, Ziku? The weather conditions are always changing. My teacher says so, and I've experienced it for myself. Now we understand what Zillin meant when he said the condition of the atmosphere changes from place to place and from time to time. It can be hot or cold, or wet or dry, or windy or calm. The weather changes. Bali, it's time for me to report back to Zandor. Bye, Ziku. So that's why weather describes the condition of the atmosphere at any one time. This condition is described by the elements of the weather. Temperature, wind and rain. Well done, Ziku, well done. Very, very good, you little one. But we must find out more. Obviously, weather is very important to life on Earth. Very, very important. So, the best thing to do now is to find out about the different kinds, the different kinds of weather in the land that you are in. South Africa. South Africa. Zagzillion, back to the mission, Forzaponia. Forzaponia. Hello. Oh, there you are again. Got a new mission from Zandal. Maybe you can help. I need to know about the different kinds of weather in South Africa. Oops. <laughs> I mean South Africa. You'd need to visit different parts of the country for that. Or you can visit a travel agent for more data. Oh yes, my dear friend Tina, the travel agent. And you'll need an atlas, a book of maps, but I've got one from school. You get that. I'll do the travel agent. Back in a flash. Later. The Transponder recommends you look at Johannesburg, Cape Town, a city at the sea, at the mountains called the Drakensberg, and at another big city called Durban. Right, Santa, good morning. Tina speaking. Hello, Sarah. It just altered. Hello, my dear. 
I can even see you. You always come and go in a flash. <laughs> so, what's your mission for today? I need to know about Johannesburg and Durban, Cape Town, and the mountains called the Dragonsburg. <laughs> so, uh, that's very nice. You're going on holiday. Actually, I need to know about the weather. Of course. <laughs> so you know what to wear. Let's see. In Cape Town, it rains in winter. In Johannesburg, it rains in summer. Durban is very nice most of the time. And the Drakensberg is very high. Sometimes it even snows. Thank you for your help. Pleasure. Here's some pamphlets. As well as some brochures. Thanks, Tina. Bye. Did you get the stuff? Yes, Tina is always so fabulous. Well, I'm making a table like they taught us at school, so we can record all our information. See, a table always has to have a heading. Types of weather in four places in South Africa. There are four different columns for the four different places we want to know about. Durban, Cape Town, Johannesburg, and the Dragonsburg. Uh-huh. Now you need to go and look for all this information in the Atlas. But I don't even know where they are. <laughs> That's why there's a contents page, Zikum. In the contents page, the places are listed in alphabetical order. Cape Town starts with a C, so we go and find C. There it is. Next to it is a number, 32. That's the page number. And there's more data, D9. This is the grid reference. Mm -hmm. So then you go to page 32, uh -huh. find D9, and there you go, Cape Town. Okay, and here's the Dragonsburg. Wow, it's as beautiful as Cape Town. And next is Durban. Wow, I'd love to go there. Look at the sea. The last one is Johannesburg. What a big city. It used to be known as the City of Gold because people used to mine for gold there. I would love to visit all these places, but I must report to Zarponia soon. Well then, let's get working on the table. We need to list all the elements of weather down the side here. Wait, let me. What were the elements of weather again? Wind, temperature and rain, hail or snow. There we go. What's next? We need to read through all these brochures and collect as much information as we can. It says here that Cape Town is hot in summer and cold in winter. And I also know that it rains in winter there, but it rains in summer in Johannesburg. Yes, in Josie we do get some afternoon thunder showers and hail sometimes. Four types of weather in South Africa. In Durban, it is hot in summer and mild in winter. In Cape Town, there is strong wind and rain in winter. In Johannesburg, it is hot in summer and cold in winter with summer rain. The Dragonsburg is warm in summer and very cold in winter. <laughs> Zowie! It's interesting. It makes it very clear that South Africa has different places that have different types of weather at different times. I'll remember to borrow your coat when I go to the Dragonsburg in winter. <laughs> and to take an umbrella with you when you go to Durban in the summer. You can keep it. I don't need it anymore. I'm scared to the pot now. Thanks. Okay. Bye, Ziku. Bye. Saudi Zillion, I have to report back to Zandor again. Wait till I show you the table we made and I learned how to use an atlas and I met Tina the travel agent and it stopped raining. Yes, I know. You do? Zoom told me. You guys are talking again. That's great news. So, Ziku, tell us what the weather is like today. Well, it rained, sir, and it was rather cold. But I know how to be fellows or ponions on how to dress should they need to make an emergency trip to it. You see, people dress according to the weather here, yeah, sir. That's fascinating. Very, very fascinating indeed, Zico. Now, what data did you collect? A whole table, sir. 
Zilin, upload the data for the High Commander's inspection. It is astonishing how quickly you learn these things. Yes, indeed! Ziku's doings are Ponya very, very proud. Well done, Ziku, and yet another successful mission. Zawi! Mission accomplished. Ziazun, Zillian. Zigazuzun. Good night, good earth. Good luck, brave Zarponia.